Welcome to the Tony Gaskin Show, best-selling author, celebrity life coach, and international speaker. The purpose of this show is to bring you motivation, inspiration, and education in the areas of life, love, and business. Thank you for joining me. Now let's get started. Hey, hey, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Talks with Tony. Got a question today from a young lady. Says, hello, Tony. Thank you so much for all the positivity and wisdom you share with us. I follow you on all social media platforms, YouTube and podcast. You're an incredible man. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. I'm 28 years old and I live in Tokyo, but I'm originally from Botswana in Africa. I met a guy here last year. September. He is also from Botswana. He is 33. We started dating in October. Everything was going well until he went home to Botswana in December for Christmas. He came back first week January, but he came back a changed man. He has a two-year-old daughter from his previous relationship, and he told me he is done with the baby mama. They're not even on speaking terms. To my surprise, she picked him up. To my surprise, she picked him up from the airport when he arrived from Tokyo. He sent me pictures of himself and the kid at the airport. That's how I noticed the baby mama was also there, but not in the picture. I asked him about it, and he said they only started talking because he wanted to see the kid when he arrived. I let it slide. The whole time he was in Botswana, communication between us was terrible. When I complained about it, he said, he didn't have Wi-Fi slash mobile data. Fast forward, he was seen by a friend of mine playing Happy Family at the airport when he came back to Tokyo, this time holding hands and kissing the baby mama. I confronted him when he got here. He denied it, still does even now. Again, this guy is attached to his phone. He always has it in his hand. He is always online, on WhatsApp. Even when we're together, he'd go to the bathroom and go online on WhatsApp. There's a whole lot I could go on about him. Help, Tony. What do I do in this case? I know I deserve better. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for writing in. And you know what? This kind of happens to a lot of people, you know, to a lot of women write in with this same type of message. And to be honest with you, it's very, very simple for me, but I know it's hard for you. And I really don't fully understand why it's so hard for women to see the signs and then to find the strength to walk away. But you have to realize if a man you've just met that you are just now dating is already playing games and cheating and showing you the signs of being a cheater, then for sure it's only going to get worse. And so in this situation, and this for anybody who is in a situation where you live in another place and you met a man in that place, but he's also from somewhere else and you all hit it off and he happens to have, you know, a baby mama where he's from, nine out of 10 times, a man living in another place has a woman back home. But the thing about it is, is men are terrible at long distance relationships. And for all of you that are in long distance relationships, I know that's going to be very scary and you don't want to hear that. But men are terrible at long distance relationships. That is because the way our mind and our body works, it is so spontaneous and we have sexual thoughts so often that we really, once we've become physical, we really need someone in the physical with us that we will literally start to break down. So if I moved away from my wife and I was 100% faithful, something would start to go on. Either I would get very, you know, tense and like snap easy and be frustrated which would be called sexually frustrated, 
and would kind of grow distant, may start getting angry, getting cold for no other reason than not being sexually active. Because what you have to realize, that sex, it's a drug. Because when you have your release, the brain releases chemicals into your body that, you know, relaxes you or kind of eases you or pleases you, stimulates you, and it works different between men and women. I remember reading the book, um, I think it was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and I was listening to it actually, and he said that sex is one of the greatest motivators for men meaning that after a man has sex, that is when his brain is most open and flowing the most freely and his greatest ideas come after sex. And so, and it a lot of times for women, it may have the opposite to where a woman may be like ready to go to sleep and a man may be ready to get up, you know, and go to work or to start, you know, dreaming and planning. And so what happens is when a man has already been sexually active and now he's away from his woman, unless this is a devout man of faith and he's praying for strength, and that is what, when I'm gone for a week or two, you know, I'm in constant prayer. You know, I'm in prayer, and luckily it's only a week or two when I'm in Africa, you know, speaking on a speaking tour or something like that. It's only a week or two, so I can manage. But six months, 12 months, I can't imagine what a man will start to go through mentally and emotionally. So this is why he picked you up. No intentions of being with you. Got his baby mama, who is probably his wife, thinking that he's 100% faithful. Cannot tell you that he's in a relationship back home. If there is no communication, she's not picking him up from the airport. She will let somebody else pick him up, and then that person can give him a ride to see his child. If she picks him up with the child, they're still on speaking terms. They're still cool. And considering where you all come from, you know, a lot of men in Africa, different religions, some, some men have three, four wives. And a lot of the women probably know their man are cheating. And this worldwide, it's around the world. But in other parts of the, of the world, it's even more so than, you know, here in the States because, you know, women have been empowered so much. But when I go speak in Africa, you know, I'm speaking on love and relationships and they're like, uh, it's, it's a little different here. Like the women, they say, you know, hey, we are empowered and we don't want to be cheated on and we want our man to be a one-woman man. But the fact of the matter is it, it, you very rarely see that. And some of these men have a religion or they come from, you know, a background to where you can have two and three wives. And so you just don't know this guy, where his mind is at, where he's coming from. And this is men not just you know, in Africa, but also in America and around the world who cannot be a one woman man. So as a woman, that's what you have to do as soon as, and this is in any area, if it's in abuse, if it's in lies, if it's in mistrust, if it's in communication, if it's in any area that you know can be a deal breaker, as soon as you recognize it, you have to cut all ties you got to pull back and you got to let it go. And you got to go ahead and start that healing process. The longer you drag it out, the harder it will be to heal. The quicker you cut it off, the easier it will be to heal. So what it sounds like to me is that this man has a whole relationship in Botswana, but he's in Tokyo and needs someone to bide his time with needs someone to lie down with, and that is why he's with you. When you let him go, he's just going to find another woman to pass this same lie off onto her. Your communication with him when he was back in Botswana was terrible, but his communication with his wife when he's in Tokyo 
is amazing. That's why he is glued to his phone, and that's why he has to get up and go in the bathroom and get on WhatsApp because he cannot have gaps of communication with his woman. But notice he had gaps of communication with you because he was with his woman. So that right there clears it all up. And that, you know, my friend, is what you're dealing with. And that's what a lot of women and even a lot of men are dealing with. But we choose to be blind to the signs because we don't want to endure the pain of breaking up and starting over. But that is what you have to do. Hey, thank you so much for writing in. Really appreciate it. If you have a question, please send it to inbox at TonyGaskins.com. If you missed any of these, if you didn't listen yesterday or the day before, go back, catch the other episodes that you missed. Even though it's not your question, there may be one nugget in there that helps change your life. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you. We'll talk soon.